There's probably a reason why you haven't heard of these stories, but that doesn't mean they aren't interesting. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and this is The Dispatch, where we bring you the internet's weirdest and coolest news stories. This week, we're talking about World War II undies, discovering Cold War bombs, and relieving yourself historic style. Number three, earliest signs of people. How I've had people come up to me on the streets and say, I know you from somewhere. Yeah, you do. You pissed on my face, friend. Mystery has swept Australia, starting with a group of creators who worked in the shadows to, uh, create. A cheeky slogan to bring young travelers to the Northern Territory of Australia, where apparently nobody goes to visit. The slogan, which reads as, see you in the NT, or see you in the Northern Territory, looks strikingly like one of those naughty words that Aussies say so often. They called me a see you next Tuesday to my face. And on a more historical note, a man who was looking for a great spot to take a pee ended up finding what could be, quote, one of the most important sites in Australian prehistory, according to Giles Ham from La Trobe University. What they recovered included more than 4,000 stone artifacts and three kilos of bone material. Elder Clifford Coulthard of the Adnya Methania people wanted to find a stunning vista to relieve himself, so he took a walk up a creek bed and into a gorge and, quote, found this amazing spring surrounded by rock art. This discovery proves that Aboriginal people settled in Australia 10,000 years earlier than originally believed. Great choice, Elder. Great job, you guys are on fire. I'm so proud. Number two, some bomb deep sea surprises. Under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Yet another surprising find this week, as Sean Smirachinsky of Vancouver went diving for sea cucumbers just off the coast of British Columbia, Canada. Instead of stumbling upon the phallic, seafloor-dwelling marine animals he's used to, Sean discovered what looked to be a UFO. Quote, Bigger than a king-sized bed, says Smirachinsky, adding that it was perfectly flat on top with a rounded bottom and had a hole in the center just like a bagel. It turns out the discovery was one of genuine historical importance. This is the most significant discovery in the history of mankind. Smirachinsky had actually stumbled upon a Cold War era nuclear bomb, dating back to February of 1950, when the American Air Force was conducting simulated nuclear strikes. The B-36B bomber flew along the Canadian coast before having engine failures. It is believed the crew were so concerned about the explosive material on board, they decided to offload the bomb into the sea before crashing near British Columbia. Hey, what about Major Kong? <laughs> Number one. Political panties. If you want to collect women's underwear, can't you just buy them? They have to be one in battle. Oh, oh that's free. Awesome. Any clue what 3,000 pounds can get you? Maybe a high-end mountain bike, 1990s era Mazda Miata, oh. or better yet, a luxury timepiece? I don't know. Sure, those all sound great, but how about a pair of authentic, war criminals' wives approved panties? That was the spending choice of one particularly dedicated collector at the Philip Serrell Auction House in early November 2016, who doled out 2,900 pounds for a pair of lilac panties, once owned by Hitler's wife, Eva Braun. Embroidered with Braun's initials, the panties were sold to a private collector, along with a gold cluster ring and a collection of early 20th century black and white photographs of the famous couple. That Eva Braun had style. Items of great historical meaning such as these are preserved immaculately, meaning it is unlikely these panties ever made it through the wash. That's gross. So, are you disappointed that you missed out on Eva Braun's undies? Vielleicht könnte ich auch haben. Ich vielleicht auch. For your bi-weekly dispatch of offbeat news stories and top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. These animals may look like boring lumps, but sea cucumbers have all sorts of surprises. Yes, but I'm not touching it with my mouth.